Hey guys, I'm going to go over my slightly different or slightly modified um, portfolio, uh, little changes that I have and action plans to do for the summer. So let's get right to it. Alright, so I made a few little tweaks to my portfolio. I'm going to... And I mentioned earlier that I was getting rid of my covered call ETF, which I completely eliminated the position as well. The goal on all these are percentages is within reason, pretty close percents to make 25% in small cap value ETF, 12.5% each of international small value and international large blend. That adds up to 50%, and that will be in my wife's Roth IRA. For my Roth IRA, I want 20% of picks that I made. 10% in REITs, 10% in SPHD, that is a monthly paying mid-cap value ETF. And new position will be 10% in VYM, that is a the Vanguard High Dividend ETF. So notice that I did not have pretty much any funds in large cap blend and large cap value. Here's the percentages that we're at right now. VYM, I just opened the position, I sold the rest of my covered call. So 771 in there. VNQ and KBWI are both REITs. This is a large cap REITs, and these are the small cap REITs. It ends up being a little over 10%, which is what I want. That's PhD, pretty much at 10%, which is what I want. Now my picks, main Owen Newt ends up being 28.7, so it's a bit higher than I was wanting it to be. Um, so I'm thinking about making changes there. The Newt um, which is 2385. I might end up selling and putting into VYM possibly. But I'm still deciding on that. Watch Roth IRA, Roth IRA is pretty close. It's about 50% for small value, international large, and international small. So here's the action plan that I'm planning on doing. First, we got to. I'm recording. First, I got to. We got to make sure that we pay for my wife's nursing school. It'll be about $2,000. Then we want to get our savings back to about $5,000. We're going to end up being pretty close to this, probably by the middle of June. Uh, that's also no debt or credit cards. I still could put in $543 into the Roth IRA to max out my Roth, so I'll put that in BYM. And then finally, I'm going to add to my Walsh Roth IRA, SYB, VA, DLS. So in that regard, I'll get back to my positions. And the biggest... Thing that I'm looking at is I want about 20% of picks that I made myself. I think it's reasonable to have a few picks of stocks that you think will end up doing good, but I am more of a um, passive, you know, index fund type investor. So about 80% of that should be in that. Some of these are slightly more in my picks. Like I put KBWI, which is not as well known as others because it's a small cap read. So I am making slight decisions on what ETS as well. What's good about this new positions is Maine, Owen, Newt already bought the stock, so there won't be any yearly fees on that. RYLD had a pretty high expense ratio. It was going to go up to 0.78% instead of 0.6%. So because of that, the positions eliminated. VYM is insanely cheap. It's like 0.06% yearly fee. My only relatively higher fees for my ETFs are KBWI, which is 0.35, I think. SPC is 0.30. SLIV is very cheap, 0.15, I think. VA is 0.06 or something really low. DLS is relatively high as well at about 0.58 or 0.55. So the total portfolio management is about 0.3, 0.5. 2, 5, somewhere in that regard. So not a huge amount in fees. RYLD being 10% of my portfolio, that 0.7 made it up pretty higher. So again, I'm going back more into this passive index investing. The big one I'm thinking of is new 2385. I think I'm going to hold it, but I'm possibly going to move it into VYM. I'm a little stuck into getting VYM up to 10% because all I could do is put another $500 or so into it because I can't put more since I've maxed out my Roth at that point. 
I don't want to make it more confusing and adding VYM into another Roth IRA. There's a chance I sell new. A few other little things I could do is I could collect the dividends in all of these funds, add it into VYM instead of reinvesting dividends. That will slightly change the percent, but it wouldn't be a dramatic effect. So, all things I'm considering, if there's any tips or recommendations or thoughts on this, please let me know. Smash and hit and don't hurt your computer and your like button because that's not good for anybody. Feels free to share with others. I think my next video I'll do is some summer tips for teachers in terms of how to increase your net worth, increase some of the side income you can get. All right, guys, that'll be it for now, and have a good day.